In this video, you're going to see how to create a query in Google Sheets where the criteria either matches a list of items or does not match a list of items. What you see now is an example of what we'll create. On the left side of the sheet, we have a list of products with three fields, product ID, quantity, and cost per unit. In the center of the screen, we have four cells for the query criteria list. In cell F3, we have a drop-down list for whether we want to query product IDs in this list or not in this list. The query results are on the right and are driven by the drop-down list and criteria list cells. The first thing we'll do is create a query based on criteria that's not in a list without linking the formula to our criteria cells. This will just help us see the syntax required for this type of query. The first input is the dataset we want to query. This is the range columns B through D, where our dataset is located. The second input is our select statement. It needs to be enclosed in double quotes. We begin with select star to return all the columns in our results. Then we use the keyword where, followed by the keyword not, and reference column B. Following that, we use the keyword matches since we have a list of criteria. Since our criteria values are text, we need to enclose the start and end of our criteria list in single quotes and separate each item in our list with a vertical bar. In addition to our not and list criteria, we'll list a second where condition for column B. Using the keyword and followed by B is not null. This filters out any blank rows in our query results. We close out our select statement with an ending set of double quotes. The final input of the query is the number of row headers we have, which is one. Now we'll add our dropdown list in cell F2. To do this, go to the data ribbon and select the option for data validation. In the validation box that appears to the right, click add rule. Next, change the names of the dropdown values from options one and two to enlist and not enlist. After that, click done. We now have our drop-down list. Now we're ready to modify our query so that it's linked to our drop-down list and our criteria cells. Click in the top left cell containing our query formula and hit F2 to go into edit mode. Next, we'll highlight our manual list items in between our two single quotes and delete them. Then we'll add two sets of double quotes where our list items used to be. The first double quote temporarily ends our select statement, so we can add an AND symbol to link our select statement to our criteria cells. Here, we'll use the text join function to join our criteria cell range together with a delimiter of our choice. The first input is the delimiter we want to use. Here we input a vertical bar enclosed in double quotes. For the second input, we'll add a value of true to ignore any empty cells in our range. The last input is the cell range we want to join together with vertical bars as the separator. That's our criteria range G2 through G5. After that, we add another ampersand symbol to link our text join function back to our query select statement. The double quote after our ampersand symbol reopens the select statement. Now we'll copy our entire query formula by highlighting and hitting control plus the letter C. At the beginning of our formula, we'll insert an if function. In the first argument of the if, we'll test to see if our dropdown cell is equal to not in list. The second part of the if function is what we want to do if the first argument is true. In that case, we want the query we've already created as the action. The final input of the if is the action if the first test is false. In that case, we want to query everything that is in the list. Here we'll paste in our copied query and remove the not keyword so that it queries everything in our criteria list. Finally, we'll add a closing parenthesis on the end of our formula. Now we have a query output that is driven by our dropdown list and criteria cells. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing.